after having played video games for more than half of your life and being an expert on computers for your family just because you know how to use Microsoft Word. You finally decide to take a big step of your life and commit yourself to study the thing you always wanted to know about. Informatics. The Delphi version. You walk into your first class full of hope, will and attitude to succeed in your brand new trip of knowledge. Prepare yourself for an unforgettable experience full of hacking battles, oh. impressive skills posting, and video game creation, just like you saw in the movies. But wait a minute, do you think you're going to have things like this robot and all those cool things? No! First you will have to overcome some little obstacles that will give you the necessary knowledge to move those little arms. Algebra! The first thing you'll encounter is a pretty easy subject which looks amazingly complicated because of the poor quality of the explanations. Seems like a child's game until you see a not so childish exam. Then you find yourself lost in a sea of matrices that invert, transpose and an endless set of formulas that you don't find meaning to. As you finish this torture, you may think you got the skills to fade the shit that is to come. Don't feel confident yet? Now meet Calculus 1, a pure math subject which makes you wonder why you entered informatics degree for the first time. If you had no idea about English, it won't really matter as you will not understand any single word coming out of your teacher's mouth. It will be something like this. And I'm Evan Baxter and here's what's making news. Not sure yet? Try this. So, calculus is what happens. Calculus mathematics is the branch that we have changed. Last, you won't touch a computer except for searching for old years' exams. They say second parts are never good, but they're wrong. Calculus 2. This is more fun. Driven by integrals. Delicious. You will apply all your knowledge to paper, so that the name of the subject is understood in context. Here you have yet another chance to brace your favorite part of engineering, maths, series, Laplace, and heat equations, which are pretty hot by the way. Discreet uh -oh. mathematics. Welcome to the subject you will eventually be glad to get a 5.0 at. Prepare yourself for being completely overwhelmed by slides that you understand nothing from, and a set of problems so huge that you will end up deciding you will try like at the finals. In this subject, you will see how the universe falls into some mathematics whose explanations do not seem convincing, even if the teacher repeated in 10 different languages a thousand times. You will learn how to make magic with numbers, if it can be called that way. Too many numbers for your body? At least you know these subjects will be very useful for your upcoming career. Let's see. Mm, we'd better move on. From the creators of Physics 1, here comes a new useless subject in which you learn nothing from the teacher and you meet Norton, not the antivirus, the theorem. You will enjoy the pleasures of writing into paper formulae, but you will not touch a single cable or do any simulation of what you have studied whatsoever. I see you are lost. Let's recapitulate. Welcome to your new degree, Philology. Let your imagination take control of your body, because you will need imagination and much more if you want to survive this entertaining experience. Requirements play a huge role in the success of a software product. If a licitation is not performed properly, you can end up building some expensive fireworks. If you didn't notice already, this course is absolutely pointless. Make up your own application from scratch, design it, create an actual user manual for it, but wait. Where's the code? For this. But the funniest part is yet to come. Make sure you weigh your project, as your grade will be computed based on the number of dead trees required for printing it. Comment. This group does not encourage the intake of any kind of illegal substance. But there are cool things of computer science. Someday you will be a hacker. Because you will be, right? Sure. <laughs> Let's hack! But then you will learn lots of beautiful, not simple at all things like fluent binary, microprogramming, What's up, dude? and assembly code. Yeah! 
Oh my god, that's what a girl looks like. <coughs> Do you like Java? Okay, forget about it. Do you use Windows? Not anymore. Learn why paying for programs makes you a bad human being. <laughs> <laughs> Learn a new programming language by yourself every time you take a new course. Make simple additions complex by writing yourself code that is automatically generated by any other higher programming language. And if it was not enough, dive into the pool of file systems, processes, threads and a lot of complicated stuff. The end is near, the fourth year has come and, well, it's almost over. <laughs> However, if you thought it would be easy, you are wrong, of course. Java and its virtues are back for bringing you peace of productivity. So well, that's only you execute it. Discover you can feel happy about finding an error just because you have found one of its kind before. Enjoy Eclipse spotting errors that don't exist and master your mimic skills by literally turning yourself into a chair. Spend your whole weekend partying with your teammates, sitting in front of your computing, punching your furniture and yelling at your machine because Java seems incredibly stupid. Well, after burning your eyes... I can't read. Hopefully you will have fit a whole running web page in basically no time, which only you will ever access to. We said we had no time to eat, but Pac-Man will certainly eat for you. Looks good, right? Let's hope you have no fear of Pac-Man because he will become your best friend. You will have to teach him everything, from escaping from ghosts, to living out labyrinths, or whatever you imagine. All that dirt being thrown, <coughs> a good thing is about informatics too. It will just in case you make you stronger, and if you don't give up too soon, you will have learned tons of useful stuff for your future career. Like working for hours and hours without being paid. Feel like you can take the world by storm while the practices are being uploaded to all of the above. Then go to sleep happy that you have one thing less to do. Look bad at what you've built and feel proud. Try to enjoy the process of learning, even though it's hard to deal with deadlines. Have a good time laughing with your teammates about whatever you're working on and, well, wait for the summer to come. The staring. The Pro Sneaker The Parkinson Guy Lots of grass. Yeah, yeah. The Yankee Professor The Always Living Teacher And errors, errors and more errors Informatics Engineering, join the legend.